in this short video, I want to point out something that gets confusing for a lot of folks when they get started with this, and that is the fact that these different assets have different IDs. Now, what's an asset? I'm talking about, uh, for example, like this business manager account has an ID, uh, a Facebook business page has an ID, a pixel has an ID, and a ad account has an ID. So I'm in the business info section here of the business settings of business manager. And if you look up at the top up here, right under, underneath the, the name of this business manager account, we've got this long number here. It's probably like 12 digits long. So that number there, that is the business manager ID that's unique, but it's the ID for this account here. Now, uh, if you're working with a client who may or may not have a business manager set up, they're going to have their own ID. If you're getting access to their business manager ID, you're going to need their ID and or you're going to need to give them your ID. That way you two can get connected. Uh, either you're added to their account or, or maybe you're trying to add a, a marketing agency into your account or whatever the, the case may be. Uh, so I just wanted to point out where you can get this business manager ID. You're going to need to go into business info. Now, let's say it's an ad account. Let's go to ad accounts. So this is the ad account that we'd set up for this Framingham window cleaning business. And let's assume that you decided to let someone else manage the ad campaign for you. So if you go to the ad account section here in business manager, you're going to see at the top up here that this ad account is owned by Framingham window cleaning. And here is the ID. This number here is different than the number that we saw before under business info. So this one starts at 3366148 and so forth. If we go back over here to business info, we can see that this one is 2795 and so on and so on. Okay. If we hop on over to pages, we can see that there's a different business ID for pages. So for the business page we had set up in a, one of the first videos that you've watched through our training, you can see uh, for this business, this business page, it is 10994 and so on and so on. So I really wanted to stress that these IDs are unique. You may need to provide these to someone else and or you may need to work with a client to be able to get their IDs so you can get added to their page, their account, or their business manager. Now in separate videos, I'm gonna show you how you can get access to a client's account. All right, guys, moving on to the next video.